I just remember being on the floor with my forehead to the linoleum, like bawling, snot and crying, saying, God, why me? And hearing what I call this still small voice, say, get your Bible. And I got my Bible and I landed on Proverbs 17, 16. And that scripture said, what good is money in the hands of a fool if they have no desire to seek wisdom? And that was the first time it hit me that there was a big disconnect between gathering information and then actually having the wisdom to apply it. The name of my podcast is Redefining Wealth. And my whole objective with Redefining Wealth was just to teach people that wealth is so much more than money and material possessions. I got into real estate at 19 years old, became a real estate and mortgage broker at 21, and quickly realized that most of my clients who were twice my age didn't know diddly squat about personal finance. So I found myself teaching myself more so that I could teach my clients. And then the recession hit, I lost everything, the home that I lived in in California had foreclosed. It was a beautiful 6,000 square foot home. My now husband, then boyfriend and I had built this seven figure business. And when that recession hit, it literally took everything in sight. I got up and started a blog and I was like, whatever it takes, Lord, just send me out there. I wanna share with people. And then I realized not even my mom or, <laughs> or my husband were actually reading the blog. I left the blogging thing alone. Who am I to start a blog? You're broke, you have nothing. And then this man reached out to me out of the blue when I stopped doing the blog, because I had been consistent for a few months. And he said, um, hey, I hope you're okay. Not sure what happened, but I was enjoying the blog. And I was like, who is this strange man? <laughs> Where did he come from? Um, but today I know he was my angel. He saved me. I remember being in first grade in Ms. Boynton's class and she would ask questions and I would raise my hand all day. And I remember one day she said, Miss Cunningham, my maiden name, give someone else a chance. And she kept me back for recess and I will never forget this. It stuck with me my entire life. She said, once you know something, you need to help your friends learn. It's not good enough that you know it help your other friends. From that day, if I could tell that someone was struggling, if I could tell that someone was struggling with something, I made it my responsibility to help. Not that I can force them to do it, but to always be open to sharing. And if people are open to listening, then I'm gonna share. And that didn't start with a podcast. That started in first grade at 42nd Street Elementary School. So when I came to Podcast Movement in 2017, I had no podcast. I had nothing except for this idea, and I had three and a half weeks to make it happen. And I learned about Podcast Movement 2017 the week before. And I ditched my calendar, set some intentions, and went for two and a half days, and I was determined to not leave until I got everything I needed. And I did, I got that and more. I came back in 2018 as a breakout speaker, and set some more intentions, met more people, added more people to my team who were vendors at Podcast Movement, and now 2019 to come back as an opening keynote speaker and continue to build and grow with the same people who encouraged me when I came here with nothing. To come back as the keynote speaker and those same people are so proud. They're like, girl, you said you were gonna like really do it when you left, you did it and I'm so proud of you. And I think that's a top down thing. Jared and Dan are very intentional about the community that they're building. This community is like no other I've ever experienced. Podcasting in general, I think, really promotes this sense of community and knowing that other people are complimentary so that people are not scared about competition. They're not like, if I let you on my podcast, now no one will listen to mine type of thing. It's like, no, you should come on. We should share, we should collaborate. Like, this is home. This is home. I'm like podcast movement for life. <laughs> I'm Patrice Washington, and this is Podcast Movement.